external nares there and there. And then you have eyes there and there. The head. External gills. The trunk. Pectoral limb. Pelvic limb. And pelvic limb. And the tail. Now you still have to know all of this stuff, I'm just not running through all of those pictures. Okay. When you're looking at this, the myomeres are the individual muscle fibers. These are dorsalis trunci along the top. And the lines going between them, like these ones, those are myosepta. The dark ones? Yeah, the ones that there's like there, 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 there. And these are hypaxial muscles from there down. These are epaxial muscles. Um, you have several different layers of um, obliques here. You have the external obliques, which if you notice, they go this way. The muscle fibers go this way. Then you have internal obliques, where the muscle fibers are running the opposite direction of the external. So these are internal, opposite direction of external. And then <laughs> on the inside, that's cutting like you have rectus abdominis, huh? That's like the, the cutting. The it's the external and then the internal is underneath of it. Uh huh. To cut. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, and the internals, which you can see from this side too, pretty much run straight up and down, and they are there going up and down. Okay, and then you have transverse abdominis, which runs down the middle of the abdomen. Mm -hmm. Okay, on to some more external muscles. You have your anterior mandibular levator here. These two, these two long ones right there. And then you have your external mandibular levator there. And the tricky thing is that there's one that's called um, mandibular depressor and it looks like it's pointing at this thing right here. It's not though, you actually have to come here and lift up and what it's pointing at is this thing on the underneath side, this kind of round white thing. Okay. Um, then you have your biceps tracheae going down here. And then if you pull your arm out to the side, you can see here there's like a slight separation. This is your dorsalis scapulae, and this is your latissimus dorsi, because you can see where it attaches down here. It goes like that. All the way along there. Um, I think that's it that you need to know for that part. Flip it over to this side. We now have your intermandibular which is the outermost muscles that are towards the anterior end of the head. <laughs> yeah. And then you have your inner hyoid, which is this big muscle that can be seen from the other side as well. If you lift both of those up, you expose some other muscles underneath. One of which, the one going straight up and down, is your geniohyoid. And then the one underneath your inner hyoid is your brachiohyoid. Okay, okay. on to arm slash neck muscles. Okay, so you have this large one that's going from here to here. See that? That's your um, procorico humoralis. And right next to it, this one, blunt probes under. That's your omocural. 
And then you have these kind of pectoral muscles here. You have a separation right there, actually, not this one, this one. And this one on top is your supracoracoideus, and all these are your pectoralis. So it separates about right there, pectoralis, and this is your supracoracoideus. And then if we pull the arm straight down, you can see right here is your coracobrachialis, which looks kind of like Nectaris's bicep if he was flexing. So that's your coracobrachialis. Um, and then you have right to the outside right here, the humero antibrachialis. And I think that's it that you need to know for the muscles. For the other part